it's your girl lady boss coming at y'all today um i know you're like dang that's a you know different burst of energy yes yes it is the first video i was a little tired so like if i sound like i was sad or just down in the dumps i i really wasn't i was just a little tired but i pushed myself to make the video and that's what i've been trying to do i've been trying to stay up on my you know just trying to stay up on everything i need to get done because i feel like i keep saying i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this and it never ends up happening so here i am i'm trying to be consistent with making videos so like i said i'm just bringing straight raw content to y'all like that's all i'm ever gonna bring to you guys um not everything's gonna be so serious you know i will have many story times because life is crazy how can you not have you know your own story times you feel me like but yeah today i'm going to be showing you guys something that i bought um and i'm going to tell you guys what i think of it they're actually really cute i love them a lot of people have their own opinions on them but i actually like them i had to see them in person i was seeing them on advertisements and stuff like that and i'm just like i don't know i don't know but when i seen them in person i was like you know what i'm gonna get them and since i like them so much i was like i definitely need to show my you know my fans my peoples you know so coming at you right now with what i bought today okay boom i bought some uggs yes i bought uggs i know you're like okay but no these are the new uggs that everybody has mixed feelings about because i sure did so i'm gonna it's kind of like an unboxing i guess or whatever you want to call it but there they go wait shoot you guys probably already seen it i was gonna say try to guess the color but I mean, it that it wouldn't make sense to try to guess the color. It's not like you guys can answer me right now. If anything, in the comments, you could. But yeah, it wouldn't make sense because I'm going to show you guys the, you know, the boots. So, okay. So, da -da -da -da. yes. I bought the rain. I said the rain. Why did I say rain? They kind of remind me of rain boots. And they have the material like it's a rain boot. And you pretty much can wear these out in the rain, believe it or not, because of the material. Did I got them right? Here, let me put this box down before I start dropping stuff. Okay, so yes. And no, they're not fake, they're real. Fox fur, 100% polyester, and I believe these are originally made in Vietnam. And no, because most people be like, oh, this is made in China, it's fake. No, these are the legit Uggs, I promise you guys. I literally bought it from... Hold on. Kids Foot Locker. I have the receipt and everything to prove it. So yes, these bad boys are official. They're real. These are the big, the real deal. And they're so cute. And the way the ring light, light is shining on them is just like, oh, oh my gosh. But these are a size five. I originally wear a size six. So I'll put them down for a moment. Um, you know what? No, let me let me keep one in my hand. Cause like, cause like most YouTubers, they usually keep the product in their hand while they're still talking about it. But anyways, um, I'm learning, I'm learning. But um, these were $120. I think I already said that. And it's crazy because in journeys, I'm sorry if you guys keep hearing that noise. It's literally my chair whenever I move. It's like, it's a creaky chair. But anyways, um, I went to journeys first and the shoes, well, the boot said $150 plus, you know, of course, tax. So I'm just like, I was actually going to go for it. But I asked the guy, I was like, do you guys have more colors? He said, no. And I was like, so those are the only colors you guys have? He was like, yes. The colors that Journeys had was 
the re the white fur ones. Well, it's, it's kind of like a um eggshell white, eggshell white. And then he had red. I was gonna most likely just go with red. So I was like, can you see if you guys have a size six? He came back to the front, told me they didn't have a size six. He said the smallest they have is a size eight. What do you mean that's the smallest? That's not, I'm sorry. No offense to anybody that is a size eight. Cause they usually say size eight to nine is a, a normal female's size foot, but I'm sorry. I I've had small feet all my life. Even if I had, if even if my feet were a size eight or even above, I'm gonna hate my feet because come on, like ugh, no, I feel like that's they say that's a normal size for a woman, but I don't I don't know. I feel like women should naturally have you know small petite feet. Don't shoot me down, please. That's just my opinion. I don't like feet any bigger than seven because once it gets past seven it's just like your feet kind of look doofy you know and like I said I'm not trying to put anybody down that has a size eight foot size nine or you know above if that's the kind of feet you guys have that's the kind of feet you guys have all power to you guys but I am just happy that I have size six feet the only thing that I get annoyed with is Whenever it comes time to buy a shoe that I that caught my attention, people never seem to have them. And it's just like, what the heck? So I had to have to wait to order them online or back in the day before I really was ordering things online. I would have to just wait for it to see if it's back in the store. And half the time people are coming like that. You gotta be on it. But anyways, so since Journeys didn't have it, I was walking. I was gonna end up going to the regular um, Foot Locker upstairs in the mall. But there was the kids full locker. And it's like, it's funny because as I was walking, like they literally have the boots on display right near the door. So it was like, ding, ding, ding. You don't even got to go that far. It's right here. Go inside. So I immediately went in. I asked if they um had a size six in the in this color right here. Because they had this one and then they have the one that is just like the regular like um material with the shoestrings on it. They So she asked me, she was like, do you want the, the plastic one or the... And I told her I was like the pink plastic one. Um, she sent her co-worker to go check to see. He brought me out a size six. She asked me if how did it fit? I said it fits perfect, but the but I was feeling like I was going like this. Usually, I'm gonna teach you guys a trick. If you can feel your toe right here, your big toe, then you don't need to go a size smaller. But if there's a lot of room where your big toe should be then you might want to go a size smaller. So, because, okay, so right now I have on fuzzy socks. Let me, I want to try to show y'all. See? <laughs> that, was, that was a little hard. I'm not as flexible as I used to be. But um, I was able to still... Because that's what I was a little worried about. I was like, what if it's winter, you know, it's cold and I want to wear these. And I want to wear my fuzzy socks along with these Uggs. Because the Uggs, look. It has fur material on the inside. So, with that being said, I wanted to make sure if I have fuzzy socks, can will this be comfortable on my feet? Because the, the woman that was helping me out, she said Uggs naturally run like big. They're, they're just big boots. And I, I don't know why, but I guess it's so you can keep your feet warm. But I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to go down a size. I n I've never done that with any of my shoes before. I only have one other pair of shoes that's a size five. It's the ones that my boyfriend gave me, which um they're Jordans. I forget the exact name. He's he's a sneakerhead. You know, if he had a YouTube, I would tell you guys to go, su to go subscribe to him. Because he can literally tell you all the knowledge about any shoe that's how amazing that guy is but and that's part of the reason why i love him but anyways um this is probably my second pair of shoes or whatever you want to call them boots whatever well these are boots but you know um my second pair of something that i wear on my feet that i had to <laughs> um choose a size five for i didn't choose a size five for the shoe that my boyfriend gave me he just naturally figured I could fit them and I was able to fit them and I love them. So with that being said, it depends on the shoe or boot or heel or whatever it is. I can either fit a five or a six. When it comes to heels, I just do my regular size, which is six, because 
Heels will kill your feet and they will kill your toes and they will just kill everything if they're not the proper size. And if it's too big, then you're uncomfortable because it's like practically flopping off the back of your, you know, back of your foot. But anyways, I was like, you know what? Yeah, I have a lot of toe room. I'm just going to go with a size five because I want to make sure, you know, it's nice, snug and, you know, and when I put it on, I was like, yes, because I, that's I, what I was afraid of is that it was going to look mega long and big on my feet. It, it kind of maybe look looks like that now in the video, like it's a long boot, but it's really not. Once you put it on your feet and you see it, it's like, oh, OK, like you could compare it to your foot. And my foot is actually smaller than the boot. Of course, it's going to be smaller than the boot. But, like, I mean, like, within length. Like, you would think this is not even a size 5. You would think it's a size 6 or a size 7. But this size 5 fits perfectly. Um, okay, let me see. Any complaints? I mean, when it comes to this right here, here, let me see if I, I can show you guys. It's like, I don't know if, you know, Ugg just naturally makes that material kind of cheap, but it won't, like, the bottom naturally won't, like, of course, the bottom is for the ground. There's no, there's no fight in that phone. You can't, you can always clean your shoe once you take it off or your boot, but who's going to keep doing that? Shoes are naturally meant for you to walk on the ground with, so... That's the only thing that I'm afraid about is this is going to start tearing up really bad after a while. See, I was literally able to just pluck a little. See that? That's the only thing that I'm not really liking about that. I'm trying to see what else. If I... That's the thing. I didn't find many things I didn't like about this boot. Because if I found a bunch of things I didn't like this boot, I would have literally not bought it. And I always have the chance to return it anyways. But, you know, I'm not doing that because I don't treat myself often. But yeah, other than that, this boot is actually pretty cute. I like it. People felt like these would look doofy on people, like girls' feet. Once again... I can kind of see where people feel, well, where people are coming from when it comes to, you know, it looking crazy on a girl's foot. And the fact that if you have big feet and you not, and you just get the actual size, that's, it's not going to look good. Because the like they said, told me at the store, Uggs naturally run, run big. So if you don't get a size down, your feet is going to look bigger than they actually are. Like my size, my natural size was just a size six. The boot itself that's a size six looks like I'm wearing a seven, almost an eight. And I'm like, yeah, no. So when I went down to a five, I was like, this is better. I could have probably pushed it to a five and a half, but I got to have toe room. I got to make sure that, you know, whatever socks I wear is, it doesn't feel tight on my feet. So yeah, other than that, I really like this boot. I like these boots. I said boot. I'm sorry. Like, I just bought one. I really like these boots. These are actually really cute. And now that I'm really looking at it, they look like rain boots. They, they look like they're Ugg rain boots instead of just, you know, regular winter boots. But you can, like, it. Uggs are meant for, you know, extreme weather as they try to promote i guess but we all know that's not really the case because depending on what kind of ug you have that material is going to get messed up like really bad so if you don't take care of these properly then the plastic like the you know the rub not i keep saying it's plastic the rubber material or whatever you want to call this because i think it is plastic but we're not going to talk about that this material can easily get destroyed and start looking dingy and nasty if you're one of those people that like to wear your boots, your nice boots all the time, they're going to look run down and they're probably going to start leaning. Not to be funny, but 
I've seen many cases. I've even gone to school with people. Uggs have been out for years. So I've, I want to say like middle school going into high school, I've seen people run Uggs into the ground. And I'm like, what are you doing? Uggs are supposed to be like, a, you know, you know how there's luxury cars? Uggs are supposed to be like a luxury boot. You're not supposed to just wear them down like that. I can understand if it's a boot that you got as a gift and it's the only winter boots you have. But even then, take care of them. If, if they're the only boots you have, if those are the only boots you have for the winter, take care of them. And I'm stressing that because I'm also, in my own way, a sneakerhead. I used to be heavy on the sneakerhead back in, you know, back when I was younger. But if I were to take you to my parents' house where my old bedroom is, I, st I still have my own bedroom there, even though I have my own place. But if I were to take you back there and show y'all my closet, you would be like, dang, you was not lying. I have I have Jordans, Nikes, Pumas, um, Adidas, and I'm not even trying to brag. I'm just letting you guys know I have shoes out the butt. Like, that sounds crazy. Sorry to say it like that. But I, I that's the only way I was able to, you know, explain it to y'all. I have shoes, just buku crazy shoes. Like sneakers heels boots like but like i said when it comes to my sneaker collection jordan's nikes the jordan's and nikes are like they're they're in a like a, a battle right now it's like i'll either buy a pair of nikes and then the sneak the jordans are off by one or two i buy a pair of jordans or then the nikes is off by maybe one or two like it's like in a battle but when it comes to like pumas and um adidas felis I just actually added felis to my collection. I want to say last year, my parents bought me felis for my birthday. So I was like, you know, well, I originally bought felis for myself myself first. It was the felis sandals that I have. I'll try to find it and maybe I can insert it in this video so you guys can see. They're actually pretty dope. I wore them sandals like Jesus wore his sandals. <laughs> so I love them. Like felis are actually generally comfortable. But when for my birthday last year, my parents got me, um, I think it was two or three, two pairs of felis. Yes, two two pairs of felis. The, the original white ones with the, you know, regular feli word. And then I got, I got a pair of green ones. So, yes, I pretty much... I don't I don't have all the brands in the world of course but I can pretty much get there if I keep going but I don't have money to spend like that so it's not a smart idea to keep trying to buy sneakers sneakers shoes shoes heels heels like I buy them as I need them because my birthday is actually coming up again and I need heels for the dress that I'm going to be wearing for my birthday dinner yes when that time comes, I'm going to see, maybe I could do a vlog or something, but I feel like I'm going to be too busy trying to make sure everything's set for that day. So maybe I'll do like a vlog while I'm getting set and ready for my birthday dinner. So at the time, the very first thing that I'm doing is I'm going to get my hair done in Bridgeport, Connecticut. That's like pretty much like an hour away from New Britain. It depends how you drive. It's not an hour away from me. <laughs> but I'm going to be getting my hair done. Then I'm going to be getting my makeup done in Waterbury. Then I need to get my nails done in Waterbury. So those little stops that I'm making, I'll probably vlog that day. So you guys can see the whole process. And then as I'm getting dressed, once I'm in my actual, you know, I'll record that as well. And then once I get to the diner... Did I say that right? No, it's not a diner. It's a restaurant. Why did I say diner? Once I get to the restaurant, then I will um show you guys like the place and I'll probably show you guys my friends or whatever. And then when it's time to start like settling down to eat, I won't really vlog anymore because I got to focus on, you know, everybody that's coming. So with that being said, these are amazing. $120 at kids foot locker don't get them any more ex don't pay any more money if you don't have to sorry i didn't know how to say it but yeah don't pay any more money if you don't have to for people to have i'm sorry but this eyelash is like weird on me right now 
but do you like them if you guys want to know um where i got these lashes from i will try to put it down in the description area but i feel like i might have put this one on wrong oh discard that that uh, that was looking weird but you know what let me stop messing with my eye um but yes like as i was saying sorry this braid is getting on my nerves because it keeps trying to fall like right here and it's like messing with the lash but anyways um i got these from kids foot locker at west farms mall in new britain connecticut um 120 dollars plus tax was like 127 and like i said don't pay more for these if you don't need to but because it was at foot locker that's probably why it was 120 dollars because it's, it runs for smaller feet like kid feet i got kid feet i literally got i have a size six foot and at times i could wear six and a half five no not six and a half i, I was going up instead of down i can wear size six five and a half and five so if you go to Journeys, whether or no matter where you at, especially for my Waterbury friends, if you are in the Waterbury Mall, Journeys is going to literally charge you $150 if you have, you know, a bigger foot. But if you can get this shoe from the kid's foot locker, then please do it because that's this is $127 overall, $127. If I would have bought... Like, not even this color because they don't have pink. But if I would have bought Uggs from Journeys, it would probably have been $157, almost $160. I, I literally saved $30. 30, yeah, just about $30. Sorry, I'm not the greatest with math but or mental math. But anyways, save money. Do everything you can to save money. Now, if you want to wait for Black Friday, good luck to you. Because people are probably going to be ordering these boots like crazy. So, but I love them. I love them. They're, they're really good boots. Have not worn them yet. It's not, I mean, it's getting cold. But once I feel like my feet can't withstand like regular shoes. Because I always wear my moccasins. Whenever the cold weather comes around, I start wearing my moccasins. But those moccasins are pretty old now. They're not beat up. They're just pretty old now. So I may buy myself some more, but I'd highly recommend moccasins too. They're just oh, in the winter. If you don't feel like putting on like an actual boot that you have to tie or whatever it is, moccasins are a go-to because you just slip your foot inside of them. Get the moccasins with the crazy fur inside. The fur is just so like, literally you just keep rubbing your hand inside of it. And it's like, ah, uh, it's kind of like, the, I'm literally, as I'm speaking to you guys, I'm kind of caressing the fur inside of here. I love freaking boots and slippers or whatever you call it with, you know, fur. Cause it's just like, oh my gosh, like it's so nice. And with fuzzy socks, your feet gonna feel like you walking on pillows. So I recommend them. They're really cute. They have, at the Kids Foot Locker that I went to, they only have the pink, the neon pink and the neon green. So get it before, you know, there is no more. New Britain isn't far from Waterbury. So if you gotta come to New Britain, come to New Britain. I don't know about Waterbury Mall if they have a Kids Foot Locker. I haven't been there in a while, but Come to New Britain. It's if you if you especially if you drive or you got friends that drive, give them gas money. Be like, can you please take me to this mall? I want to see if they have this shoe. Because nobody, well, okay. A lot of times I'll order things offline, but it's annoying having in the having. I can't talk. Having to wait for it, <laughs> it's annoying. So with that being said, I was like, you know what? I'm in the mall already. I originally was in the mall for my MacBook because it's been acting dumb, and I need it for school. I've just been using my tablet as of right now. But I was originally there for Apple to bring my MacBook there. But they had to give me an appointment because, you know, that store is always so crazy. The only MacBooks we have in Connecticut, I believe, is, you know what? No, because that would have been wrong. You guys would have been like, no, there's a MacBook here. There's a MacBook there. So never mind. The only ones I know of is the one. I discovered the one in New Haven first because that's where I got my iPhone 6S from. Yeah, when I upgraded from the 6, I got my iPhone 6S from Apple and in the, in the Apple in New Haven. And then 
as once I started going to school in New Britain, here in New Britain, when I was going to the mall, I discovered that there's an apple in the mall. And I'm like, wow, okay, so there's two apples so far. That's the only ones I know of. I don't know of anywhere else. But yeah, I was there to bring my MacBook there. And I was like, you know what? I'm already in the mall. Maybe I could just look around. And I found myself going to Journeys. Because that's one of the stores. It's weird. It's kind of like a, th a natural thing I do when I'm at that mall. I go into Journeys and I just look around, not really planning on buying anything. But I look around and I instantly, because they, they literally are putting these shoes in the front, like in the front doorway. So you can immediately see them. Like whenever something is hot and popping, they want you to see it. So they're going to put it in their doorway, literally in the doorway. Like but that's that's journeys. Foot Locker, they had it on their wall shelf that was like literally right next to the door. So every store does that when they're trying to promote something that's popular at the moment. But yeah, I went to journeys and was just looking around. I asked the guy about the, the Uggs. I already told you guys how that went. Then I went to the kiss for locker and boom i was like you know what yes 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 they're cheaper too i'm getting them so yes that's my story on these uggs and i highly recommend them don't be afraid to get them they're not they're not gonna look like doofy boats on your feet especially if you have small feet but it, it even for my ladies with size eight size nine just go down a size because the lady told me herself at the store that they run big so just go down a size I promise you, you're going to be happy with the results. Now, I can't help you guys if you guys just have, you know, weird toes or weird feet. Then that's a little hard. You got to see what you got what you can do about that. But if you, you got regular feet and you don't want your feet looking crazy in these boots or you don't want to look crazy with big boots, just go down a size. I promise you guys, you will be A-OK. -okay. So, yes, thank you for listening in on this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you guys thought about it. And have a blessed day. That's all I can really ask from you guys is just have a blessed day. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for more videos coming soon. I'm trying to, like I said, I'm trying to produce more and more and more as I go. Thank you guys. I love you guys. Mwah.